Bonds have coupon payments and principal repayments that all occur in the future. Therefore, the way to find the present value of a bond is to compare the dollars that are to be received in the future with the dollars today. For example, if someone offered you $100 today and you could invest it in an account that earned 10% per year, how much would the account be worth one year from now? This is pretty simple. It would be worth 100 times 1.1 which would equal $110. What we are essentially saying is that $110 one year in the future is equivalent to $100 today. What would $100 today be worth two years from now at a 10% interest rate? It would be worth 100 times 1.1 times 1.1 or $100 times 1.1 to the second power and your answer would be $121. So, $121 two years from today would be worth $100 today. These examples are just to help you understand the valuation of bonds conceptually. If someone told you they would give you $121 two years from today, how would you figure out what that $121 would be worth today? If the interest rate is 10%, and you would receive this payment two years from today, then the present value would be calculated as 121 divided by 1.1 to the second power. And this would give you an answer of $100. Basically, what we did here was untie the value that time is given to that money. We did this by discounting $121 by the interest rate which we rose to the power of 2 because it was to be received 2 years from today. Okay, you now have a conceptual understanding, but this needs to be explained in more detail. Remember, with a bond you are receiving multiple coupon payments in the future and a repayment of the principal at the maturity date. To find the present value of a bond, you would have to discount all the future coupon payments and the final repayment of principal by the yield to maturity, which is the rate offered by the market for a similar bond. And then you would add them up. Let's assume we have a bond with an annual coupon payment of $50 and a par value of $1,000. Let's also assume that there are three more years until maturity and the yield to maturity is 7%. How would we calculate the present value? We have our par value of $1,000, the yield to maturity of 7%, our coupon payment of $50, and then we have our periods until maturity, which is 3. The present value of the bond would be calculated as 50 divided by 1.07 plus 50 divided by 1.07 to the second power plus 50 divided by 1.07 to the third power plus 1,000 divided by 1.07 to the third power, giving us a value of $947.51. If this bond made semi-annual payments, then we would multiply the number of years to maturity by 2, so there would be 6 periods. We would also divide the yield to maturity and the coupon payments by 2, so the yield to maturity would be 3.5 and the coupon payments would be $25. For example, imagine that there is a semi-annual bond with a par value of $1,000, a coupon rate of 5%, and still has 3 years until it reaches maturity. Now imagine that the yield to maturity is 7%. How would we calculate the present value of this bond? We need to find the number of payment periods, the amount of the payments, and the yield to maturity for each period. If there are three years left to maturity and the payments are made semi-annually, then there are six payment periods remaining. If the bond pays a 5% annual coupon rate and the par value is $1,000, then it pays a $50 interest payment annually. If these payments are made semi-annually, then it makes two payments per year, so the coupon payments are $50 divided by 2, which is $25. Finally, 
we would divide the yield to maturity by 2 and get the yield to maturity for the period. So it would be 7% divided by 2, which gives us 3.5%. So now we have our information. We have a par value of $1,000, a yield to maturity of 3.5, coupon payments of $25, and periods to maturity of 6. The present value of the bond would be calculated as $25 divided by 1.035 plus $25 divided by 1.035 to the second power plus $25 divided by 1.035 to the third power and so on until you discounted the par value divided by 1.035 to the sixth power. This gives us a bond price of $946 and 71 cents. The bond is simply just structured differently because it makes its payments semi-annually. As you can see, the present value of the bond is less than the face value. This is because the bond is paying a lower coupon rate than that which is offered by the market for a similar bond. Why would an investor purchase a bond for $1,000 that only pays 5% when they could go buy a similar bond that would pay 7%. There's less demand for these bonds and therefore the prices fall until they are correctly priced. Here we have an excerpt from the US Treasury quotes for bonds and notes from WallStreetJournal.com. The bonds have maturities up to 30 years and the notes have maturities up to 10 years. Take a look at the highlighted issue. We can see that it has a coupon rate of 1.375%. Par value is $1,000. Therefore, it pays interest of $13.75 per year in two semi-annual installments, so it would make two payments of $6.88 each year. The payments are made in January and July of each year. The bid and ask prices are quoted as percentages of par value. The par value is $1,000. Therefore, the bid price of the highlighted issue is 100.3047% of par value, which is $1,003.05. The last column labeled Asked Yield is the bond's yield to maturity based on the ask price. accrued interest and quoted bond prices. The bond prices that are quoted are not the actual prices that investors will pay for the bonds. The quoted prices are the price someone would pay if they bought the bond on the coupon date. The quoted price does not compensate for the accrued interest that the seller has earned up until he sells the bond. If a bond is sold 30 days after the coupon payment has been issued, there are 182 days in the semi-annual payment period. Then the seller is entitled to the interest that the bond earned during those 30 days, so the purchaser will pay the quoted price plus the accrued interest. The formula is shown here. Accrued interest equals annual coupon payments divided by 2 times the number of days since the last coupon payment divided by the number of days between coupon payments. If the coupon rate is 8%, then the semi-annual payments are $40. Since 30 days have passed and payments are made every 182 days, then the interest that the seller has accrued is $6.59. If the quoted price of the bond is $1,003, then the purchaser will have to pay that plus the accrued interest. So the buyer will have to buy the bond for $109.59.